What's up, everybody? Thanks for tuning in. We've got a good one for you today. Tony, over there at Talent Tunes, has sent over the Taipan Veteran 2 Tactical Bottle Version. And the most awesome thing about this PCP rifle is its accuracy, apparently. So, at this point in the video, I haven't shot it yet. But I'm guessing this is going to shoot just as good as an M3 or anything else out there. What's up? This is Nate from the future. Check this thing out. These gigantic... 60 grain boat tails that's 54 yards stop that's 54 yards away right there five shots and the knockouts 33.95 grain five shot groups baby 54 yards away want to shoot gigantic 60 grain slugs reliably those are my first five shots at 35 yards if JSB knockouts are your thing there's a 35 yard sample so stay tuned if you want to see this happen in real time. So in this video, we'll give you an up close look at the Taipan Veteran 2 tactical bottle version in 25 caliber, as well as go over the operation, how to tune it, and most importantly, we'll do some accuracy testing, power testing, and even some trick shots. Apparently it shoots these JSB knockout air gun slugs like a laser. This right here is the green laminate version. It also comes in gray laminate, and synthetic it comes in 22 and 25 caliber you can either get a 700 millimeter barrel like you see here today and these are CZ barrels which many consider to be the most accurate in the world you can get the CZ barrel in 700 millimeter like you're looking at here or also 550 millimeter as well you can take the shorter moderator off the 550 millimeter they're interchangeable so you can put that onto the 700 millimeter and vice versa the Taipan Veteran 2 is capable of extreme power, but you can also turn it way, way down. So it's adjustable power. It has a 700cc air capacity, as well as a 78cc power plenum. So even slinging out all this power, it's almost completely silent. One of the things that contributes to the amazing accuracy of this new design, the free-floating barrel is now completely free of any bands. This means the barrel is going to hold at zero and will not be susceptible to weather conditions or a movement of any other parts of the rifle. The CZ barrels are unchoked with 12 grooves of conventional rifling. They have a 1 in 17.7 twist. One thing I want to mention is this uh, moderator that's in the front as well as the, this is a 480cc Kevlar bottle. Both of those things are very, very lightweight and the balance of this rifle is just awesome. It does weigh nine pounds in the laminate version, but it's so well balanced, I had no problem holding it completely still, free handing it. It's got an AR style pistol grip, so it's really ergonomic, but it can be swapped for any commercial AR grip. As well, if you get the synthetic buttstock, it is adjustable. We got an overall length of 38 inches on the 700 millimeter and 36 inches on the 550 millimeter. Once again though, you could swap out the shorter moderator since the first type pans came out, people have been saying that they have the best triggers of any air gun. I would agree, it's pretty awesome. It has a trigger pull weight of just 2.1 ounces. I'm going to show you guys multiple groups with the two most accurate slugs. The type pan veteran 2 is tuned to shoot these slugs perfectly straight out of the box. So we'll call that the factory tune. Real quick, here's the speeds that it was shooting. A few different kinds of ammo straight out of the box. These are some lighter weight 49.5 grain boat tail slugs. With the way the gun was tuned, these did not shoot as good as the 60 grain. When it comes to slugs, I've heard it said that people get too hung up on the speed, when in reality the speed does not really matter as long as it's stable. So if it's stable at 750 feet per second or it's stable at 950 feet per second, it makes no difference. Delivering a 60 grain slug at this velocity is going to be putting this many foot pounds on target, no matter how you slice it. So I shot this entire video between 80 and 100 shots at least with nothing that even resembled a flyer. So this gun does not miss. The shooter may miss, but the gun does not. All right, we are set up out here at a very special 38 yards away. All right, full tank of gas, 38 yards away. You guys are gonna love this. Hudson, come on. 
The only reason this last shot didn't go through the hole was because my dog was trying to walk in front of me. Damn it, my dog's walking in front of me. Hudson, come on. All right, got the dog inside. Best group I've ever shot with slugs, I'll tell you that. Let's do one more right through the hole. Yep, six shots. All right, that was five. Let's do five more. All right, 15 shots in a row through the bullseye. Let's keep going. Oh, slipped on the trigger. Bam. Got my rhythm off on that last one, but we're blowing a hole all the way through my... Watch, I'll hit that hole. <laughs> I mean, does it get more badass than that? You hit a 25 caliber hole. Right here, I just basically kept doing the same thing over and over. All right, I'm going to shoot one without trying and see how we do. So I'm not going to show all that. Pretty good. That was basically without holding it tight at all. That's amazing accuracy though with slugs. Do you think that's awesome? Here's what happened when I tried the giant 60 grain boat tail Alturo slugs. All right, we're still at 38 yards. We're gonna start off with the, it says 50 grain. All right, so no on those. Let's try these 60 grain. Aim for that hole. All right. Do a group of these 60s right about here. Ooh, slipped on the trigger right through the bullseye. Holy crap, that shot is good as the other one. That shot's good as the knockouts. It's flipping amazing, these giant boat tails are just sailing out there. This right here was literally the only group I shot all day that was not perfect. And it was all me, I was totally losing my concentration. And to prove it, I concentrated really hard and shot a few more groups. Freaking awesome. I just want to keep going with these as well. So let's do one more. Man, I couldn't believe that they were going through the exact same hole. So I psyched myself out on that last one. Before we get to the 54 yard accuracy testing with both these slugs, the power adjustment is basically the hammer spring tension adjuster on the rear of the gun. You're going to get some little pins with your rifle, and those you can just insert in those little holes, and you're going to turn your hammer spring clockwise for more power, counterclockwise for less power. And it's very important to make sure your rifle is not cocked when you're adjusting your hammer spring. Once again, make sure you decock the rifle before adjusting the power. So when you buy any rifle from Talon Tunes, it's going to arrive with a test sheet, which has a 30-yard five-shot group. It's got a 10-shot shot string with the velocities. And every gun that goes out of town tunes gets fully checked over. Tony adjusts the trigger just how he likes it. As well, anytime you call town tunes, you're going to get the owner on the phone. So they only sell the best PCP air guns. So anything you get from there, it's going to be top-notch. The other thing I love about getting a gun from Tony is that he always has the 1 8 quick disconnect foster fitting included and installed so you can shoot the same day you get it by the way for the best accuracy i did clean the barrel before i started any shooting you would want to use ballastol which is safe for air gun seals and a pull through cleaning system and there's what i got out that is dirty super dirty 
All right, we got our two favorite slugs, and we're set up at a very special. 53 yards away. Right here, I'm just getting sighted in. And here's some official 53 yard groups. Look at that, you guys. First try, perfect group with these gigantic boat tail 60 grain slugs. That is so sick. If I keep going, it's only going to prove that I can't hold it together as a shooter. So I'm just going to sight in for these knockout and see what they do. These ones are going to be a little high. Whoa, way high. Slipped on the trigger right through the bullseye. That is so awesome. So we're just like killing it at 54 yards, just like we did at 35. Here's a second group of the JSP knockouts. Flyer free bullseye annihilation with extreme prejudice. So in all my years of doing air can channel, I've never come across a gun that shoots slugs with no flyers, let alone in tight groups like this. So obviously you could take this gun long distance, although I didn't, only because I ran out of time. Real quick though, go ahead and smack some steel at 66 yards away using just my holdover. All right, so 54, it's only an extra 10 yards. So I'll try it right about there. there nailed it so hard it's popped back up yeah that one's just popping back up but I am hitting it see if we hit it in the head if it will stay down <laughs> sure did I think that guy has popped up, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, freaking nailed him. <laughs> totally nailed it. Boy, it popped that thing up for sure. As you can see, my gamo target was not ready for a hit from the 25 caliber knockout slug. By the way, all those shots were right in a row without one miss. This Taipan is amazing with those slugs. All right, everybody, that's it for me on this one. There will be a link in the description if you want to go check out Talon Tunes. Definitely look at their website if you haven't seen it yet. They got a ton of awesome guns, including the LCS, Caliber Gun, FX, and a bunch of others. All right, everybody, till next week. Happy shooting. We'll see you in the next one.